Hi everybody, this is Michelle from Virtual Hand Care, your online hand expert. Today, I wanted to make a video on what kind of exercises you should do while you're in the cast to avoid having any kind of finger stiffness. You should always check with your doctor though before you start any kind of exercises. The general rule is that if it's not immobilized, meaning if it's not in a cast or in a splint, you can move it. A lot of times people are told to just wiggle their fingers in their cast and then that's all the information that they get. And by the time they go back to see the doctor, they are so stiff. Perhaps this happened to you, or it hasn't happened and you want to avoid it. So if you've had a wrist injury and you had to have a wrist cast or even just a wrist brace, you can do these gentle exercises to avoid having stiffness. Now, if you haven't watched my first video on how to know if your cast is fitting right, check that video out first and I'll put the video link up here or in the comments below. Hopefully your fingers are free to where you can do more than just wiggling your fingers. Remember, wiggling is worthless. It will not lead to this and making a full fist when everything is all said and done. It will, your fingers will get very, very stiff if you only wiggle them for a week, two weeks, six weeks, or however long that you're wearing your, your brace or your splint for. The first exercise that you want to do when you're in a cast is to start on the little joints of the fingers. So these are called joint blocking exercises. So these are easy and they shouldn't hurt, but what you're going to do is you're going to block right below the, the small joint of the little finger and you're gonna work all the joints in all the fingers. And you're gonna do these about 10 times each joint. And make sure when you're doing these, you are going all the way down and all the way straight 10 times. So notice that I'm just putting a little bit of pressure right below the crease and you're going down and up down and up. You're using your own muscle power to do that. And you go through each finger, like I said, 10 times. If the other finger next to it moves, that's okay. It's getting a little bit of extra exercise. Now I'm not going to go through and do 10 of each finger, but you get the idea all the way up and all the way down. So you've done the tips first, do the tips first, then do the next joint first. Then what you wanna do is do the third joint or the knuckles where you come down and up. Now in my previous video, I said sometimes a cast can be up a little high and it can block you. Ideally, your cast should allow for this crease right down here, your distal palmar crease, so that your knuckles can move or your metacarpals can move down and up. And after you've done 10 of those, now what you wanna do is do what's called a hook fist, where you are doing a claw, and that means that you're just moving the two joints together while the knuckles are staying straight. Good, now you've done all of the joints by themselves and you've done them together this way. Now you wanna try to do that full fist and open. Full fist and open. Good, the next exercise you wanna work on is the thumb. So if your thumb is not in your cast, work on that thumb. And you're gonna do the blocking exercise to the thumb. So your thumb joint, the tip of the thumb, if it's free, then you want to do blocking just for the tip of that thumb. Again, 10 times just the tip. 
Then you wanna go down to the next joint, which sometimes that next joint is a little hard to move because of the cast, but you wanna go just to what you can do with trying to work on going across your palm and open. And I don't expect you to be able to go all the way across with the cast on, but you're just trying to move across and open as far as you can go. Next, what you wanna do is make a nice circle with each of the fingers and going to the tips of the fingers. Good. And again, touching the tip. Now, if you can't go to the middle finger, just start with the index and do 10 times that way. And then going to 10 times middle finger and then 10 times ring finger. And then same thing, 10 times small finger. Those few simple exercises can do wonders for your fingers and by actively working those fingers, you're actually helping to pump that swelling out of your fingers also. Once that cast comes off, then you can really put a lot of your attention on your wrist. I hope that helps you like this video and subscribe to virtualhandcare.com. If you are in need of exercises or help for that stiff, for those stiff fingers, that stiff wrist after an injury, I'll put a link in the comments below. Visit me, your hand expert at virtualhandcare.com. Thanks for watching.